and good evening halloween is now over it is sunday the first of november it will soon be christmas but uh yeah why don't you sit down and join us for the roundup of this week's news And so good evening it is the scare tour sunday synopsis for sunday the 1st of november which can only mean one thing halloween is officially over well we say it's officially over it's not because obviously there are still events happening and somebody could be out tonight at alton towers or fort park or uh scare kingdom or a number of different things and of course there are still some events that were planned to uh go on next week or so but we'll talk about those in a little while but of course what a what a strange year this halloween has been um obviously the word that's been on everyone's lips is covid and um wh whether an event is um able to open safely with everything that's been going on and i think we just have to praise all the events that have managed to open uh generally they've been um uh, we felt very safe at the events they this been been interesting to see what they've actually done and the changes they've made and we just want to say thank you for those who actually persevered made the changes and uh, decided that they would uh, be able to open obviously there's a lot of events decided they weren't going to be able to they looked at the guidance and said no we're not going to be able to um and yeah it must be interesting for them they must be sat back looking at some of the changes that are happening at the moment and thinking oh could we have gambled it or um did we do the right thing for those that did gamble on a halloween uh, run they have won because obviously we are still now allowed to do something but of course there are events going forward and we'll talk about those in a minute so let's just talk about that lockdown news so obviously last week the whole of wales went into lockdown and we lost a number of scare events over there uh, that was quickly followed this week by france germany belgium um, a lot of our european cousins were closing theme parks and closing halloween events uh, and then, of course, uh, you'd have to have been um, living under a rock not to realise that as of last night, Boris Johnson announced that we in England would also be going into a full lockdown. And that does mean that all clubs, pubs, cinemas, gyms, theme parks, amusement parks, leisure centres, everything will go into full lockdown. We are officially advised to stay at home and not go out for non-essential travel. So obviously going to a theme park, going to a screen park is non-essential travel and if anyone out there wants to argue with me about that please do so because there is nothing essential about going to a screen park um we've been very very lucky this halloween that we've been able to get out and do as much as we can um there are some places we wanted to go to but we're in higher risk areas and we decided not to we thought that was the most responsible thing to do as a, a grown adult and uh, yes we will uh, we have condemned uh, a few people that we've actually seen traveling outside from a safer zone into a more riskier zone just to go and get a scare um that's very irresponsible we haven't done that um and we have traveled safely around it throughout the uk um so yeah it's it's going to be a weird time we are now going into a lockdown we might have to bring back the scare to a quiz for four weeks um just to keep everyone busy during lockdown so do let us know if you would like the uh, quiz back but uh, there has been some good news this week so um, completely out of the blue last night, Doncaster Fear Factory announced that they would be returning. Now, they haven't been around for about four or five years, so they've teased that they'll be back for Halloween 2021 with, uh, I think, three or four mazes. They've got an underground maze. They've got a, a wooded maze. And we're really looking forward to seeing what seeing what they come up with for next year. Also announced this week, a Zombie Uprising announced there would be a new event called The Creek um not much more um explained about that but they are describing it as zombie uprising meets blair witch so it sounds like an outdoor uh quite spooky experience of course this close to halloween there isn't really much in the way of new new news um so we only had those two this week and then of course there was more than about the news of the things that were closing so that's it for news but what of course we do have to report is what um we have been able to cover on the website this week so if you haven't been on the main scare to review website um you will find reviews of our trip to starbridge scare maze which was a great new event that has just opened or had just opened near birmingham uh, we had Warwick Castle After Dark, which is a new festival type event uh, with a couple of scare attractions. We had the Incredible Sessions House of Horrors, which is another new event that opened this year. 
um, and a very unique old courthouse building and uh, you can see the review online. We had the new event Fairground Frights at Great Yarmouth, a great atmosphere at this little park. Wasn't the scariest event we've been to, but absolutely it was lots of fun. We've also got a review of Fear Island at Fancy Island. And again, like last year, the scares there were incredible, really good mazes. Always recommend that event. We've also visited the Haunted Maze Maze at Valley View at Gordon's in Scotland. So we've got a review there. We also visited Pleasurewood Hills for their Pleasurewood Chills event. And uh, the mazes there, although they're not done by Atmosphere Scare Entertainment this year, they were just as good as they were before. And I personally went through um, the Hobbs Revenge maze on my own which was genuinely terrifying we also had survival zone which was another new event that was down in north fort in worthing uh, and the zombies there were incredible that was a great fun we've got our review of chessington halloween uh creepy caves resurgent was genuinely one of those scariest things we've done this year um so yeah that was great fun not expected at a family theme park we also have a review of Darktober M&Ds, that is the replacement for the Outbreak M&Ds event up in Scotland. We also have been, we've also got our review up of Labyrinth at Knott's Maze, uh, which was great fun uh, at the uh, Knott's Maze Maze. We also have our review of the Tully's Haunted Drive-In Cinema, where we went to see The Exorcist last week. Uh, and that's a really nice touch and obviously we're not sure whether that will be able to open with the the new continued uh, lockdown environment um talking of zombies we were earlier we went to uh, gloucester prison for salvation Z, uh which was a different style event to what they did last year but was absolutely brilliant genuinely terrifying in places great to run around an abandoned prison and see the zombies there and our final review which has just gone up today is fear fields the drive-through event up in uh, west yorkshire which again was great fun these drive-through events are have been really good this year and what's going to be interesting to see is what happens with drive-through events this year uh, we had three of them this year almost four because it was going to be um horror drive in essex but they weren't able to open um yeah, I think there really is a place for these these drive through scare attractions going forward. I know they were they were born out of necessity this year for Halloween, but um, yeah, they are really interesting. There's something about being trapped in your own car and having people attacking you in your own car. Genuinely scary, genuinely good fun, and we had a great time at all of them. So there we go, that's it. There's still a few things to come. Uh, we were supposed to be going to the retreat, on saturday uh coming up but of course that has had to be cancelled due to lockdown um we were due to go to festival at wrexham which moved to oswestry um poor um the team at that event who've just been moved around so much um and i really hope it doesn't affect them financially too much we're not sure uh, what the next events will be for us. Um, in the meantime, we will just obviously keep up with the news, keep on posting stuff, and you'll see more from us. So just because Halloween is over, remember a scare to review site is for life, not just for Halloween. So we're not going away now that Halloween's gone. Uh, we've got Christmas scares coming up soon, and there's a lot more out there. So with that, we're going to sign off. We'll see you next week for next week's Sunday synopsis, and we will say stay safe and... Uh, See you soon.